an American, but I was born in England, spent two years in China, and then made my way here. I speak Spanish, want to study in Brazil, and then live in Australia. Right now, my best friend is from India, and my boyfriend, well, he's American too, but his parents are Egyptian. Mine are Canadian. So, who am I? I'm someone that wouldn't exist were it not for a connected world, which, oddly enough, is the same for my phone. My phone consists of a South Korean screen, utilizing Taiwanese Touch ID and containing Thai transistors. It contains custom Cambodian capacitors, Swiss semiconductors, and a German accelerometer. Although it was assembled in America, like me, it was made in the world. Which means that this amazing piece of technology is only possible when there is cooperation on a global scale. If the Malaysians mistakenly manufacture the wrong memory cards, then no phone. If the Chinese chip for Wi-Fi is withdrawn from world trade, no phone. And if Japan stops making ramen, well, well, that has nothing to do with the phone. But, oh, delicious ramen. Sorry. Basically, if any barriers prevent the global machine from running smoothly, then no phone. It's globalization at its finest. The entire world working together to lower costs, scale production, and innovate. It's an incredible system. Incredible! Except for things like child labor, of course. Normally we don't hear about that bit. Just like we don't hear about who mines the cobalt for the long-life battery. Perhaps you can guess why. For globalization to work best, we need to have global standards. Global standards for employment, tax, and the environment. If we are to have global products, we need global rules. Otherwise, how can we possibly watch a cat video whilst taking care of business and feel okay with ourselves? So, who am I? I'm a global citizen, using a global product. And if I'm to benefit, Shouldn't everyone else?